If you've seen any of your mga TV guestings, radio show guestings recently, you probably saw them refer to me as a YouTube edu creator. What does that mean and how can you be one of us? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is not my usual content, so if you're looking for educational and motivational videos, this may not be the perfect video for you. I'll link na ako ng separate video right here. But this is actually very special and dear to my heart because in this video, I'm going to give you a few siguro, pointers or tips on how you can be a YouTube educator as well. Now, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng edu creator? Um, that term has been tossed around. A few years na yan na pinanganak, pero it, recently ko rang in-own yung title na yan. What that means basically is that you create content na educational. So, when you put up your channel, you make your videos, your number one priority is to educate or to teach other people. And the sad thing is, not a lot of people do that here in the Philippines, which I think is sayang naman, lalo na dahil marami tayong pwedeng ma-reach at ma-teach online. So one of the perks of me being a YouTube edu creator was they actually sent me to the EduCon last year sa India. And ako lang yung nag-iisang Pilipino doon dun sa entire conference na yon. So I was looking at a room with 300 plus na Indian edu creators and with other top creators from all over Asia Pacific. And ako lang yung magisang Pilipino. So when I was looking at the room, ang inisip ko talaga was I really want something like this for our country as well. I mean, imagine if marami talaga mga gumagawa ng content about every topic under the sun. Hindi lang mga cooking videos which are also educational. Hindi lang mga makeup tutorials which, if you think about it, is also educational. But something geared towards actual schooling. So science, math, chemistry, engineering, all of these topics na pwede mong matutunan online. And um, yun yung dream ko, hopefully, for the Philippines. And the sad part is, of course, hindi ko siya kayang gawin by myself. And that is the reason why I'm making this video right here. So if you are a teacher, or kahit hindi ka certified na teacher like me, if you're anyone who knows anything, you can actually be a YouTube edu creator. So first question to ask would be this. Why should you do it? Okay. Now, you would think, diba, if uh, you the first question, people would ask, who are you? What can you teach? Something like that. But that comes further down the road, in my opinion. The first reason that compels me to make content is why. Why do I keep making these videos? So why should you be a YouTube edu creator? Number one, because you can reach and teach so many people. When I first started making videos, I had no idea at all that it would snowball siya into this. When I put up that first video, the only reason why I put up a second one was because someone from Batanes, who I didn't know and didn't have any family and friends, actually sent me a message, a random message, siya, just to ask if I was going to make that video. Na yun, and she requested me to make anything more that could help her in her exam. So that's how it happened. So imagine, if you, just one person, are able to teach hundreds of thousands of people People all over the country and even all over the world with so many OFWs around. Alam nyo, marami kayong matutulungan sa kung ano man yung alam ninyo. So why should you teach? Because a lot of people want to learn. And recently, we've seen trends of people looking to YouTube pagdating sa educational content. So maganda at mafeel nyo yung need na yun. We really, really, really need you. Question number two would be this. Who are you? Ikaw muna. Look into yourself. Ano ba talaga ang kaya mong ituro? Ano ba ang alam mo? Kasi syempre, di ba, hindi mo naman pwede ituro yung hindi mo alam. Now, it doesn't really mean na kailangan nag-major ka sa ganitong klaseng subject or dahil na ikaw ang pinakamagaling sa class ninyo. In fact, a lot of us na educators, hindi naman kami necessarily teachers by profession. In fact, which not a lot of people know, is hindi ako eduk major. Ang course ko nung college is psychology. So, hindi talaga ako teacher by profession. Hindi ako licensed teacher as of yet. I'm still working towards that, no? Pero, um, I'm really passionate about teaching. Passionate ako about um, educational psychology. And that was how it kind of segued into this. So, hindi naman kailangan. Pero, ano ba talaga yung alam mo? Ano yung something that you really like talking about? Start with that. Ano yung something na gusto mo pa rin mag-keep na mag-research ng tuloy-tuloy? Kasi ang teaching is still learning and relearning things. And kung ano yung topic na yun, whatever that is, that's what you should teach. 
So, hindi naman necessarily subjects sa school. If you're into photography, if you're into cooking, if you're into anything, kahit na sneaker design or anything like that, you can actually teach that on YouTube. And that's the beauty of it. Question number three. So, how can you teach online? Okay. Now, this question I feel is the hardest na i natalunan for a lot of people. Kasi they feel na they need a complicated na setup, which I think doesn't help my case na nasa magandang set tayo ngayon. Pero what you could see dun sa mga older videos ko is all I had then was a point and shoot camera na 480p la. Sobrang liit liit talaga niya. Pero ang importante kasi dun is the message. That's the beauty of educational content. Kasi more than the beauty ng shot or the cinematics, which I'm not saying na wouldn't help, ang, pin- ang binibenta natin or pinapakita natin sa kanila is the message. So the message means more than yung itsura ng packaging and even means more than the messenger himself or herself. In my case, honestly, you don't need to be perfect. Uh, bulol ako, very bulol. Uh, mahiyain ako, nagsastutter pa rin ako. Um, kung alam nyo lang kung ilang takes tong video na ito, okay? Uh, natural yan, lalo na sa simula. So, huwag kayong matatakot about that. Hindi nyo kailangan na expensive na equipment. All you need is a camera. Kung matyaga ka, kahit na yung camera mo, dun ka na magsulat, or gamitin mo yun para i-shoot na nagsusulat ka ng content na habang nagsusulat ka sa isang papel, that could also work. In fact, one of my close friends now, who is also a Filipino na edu creator, Number Bender, which uh, yung link ko rin yung channel niya sa baba, actually started out with a whiteboard, as I did, and yung markers niya doon. Ngayon yung content niya, ginagawa niya rin sa papel at nagsusulat lang siya doon. So it doesn't really have to be expensive. Hindi nyo kailangan ng tablet na maganda, o hindi nyo kailangan na magara na camera. Start with what you have. Kasi kung ano man yung topic na yan, merong someone out there na nagtatanong at kailangan nung sagot na yan. Alright, so uh, I guess uh, ki- that kind of gives you a push towards the right direction. Kung medyo nag-iisip-isip ka ba kung magsustart ka o hindi, let this be a sign to you guys. Dinala kayo sa channel ito for a reason, dinala kayo sa video nito for a reason. As we always say, di ba, dream high, work hard, start now. So you should start right now. Start with what you have, start teaching what you know. You don't necessarily have to be the best. Pero ang importante is you have a message to share and the message re- still really means more than the messenger. And it's not about us, it's about what we can teach and what others can learn from us. So thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. If you have any teachers who may be encouraged to make content as well, share this to them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon if you haven't yet then, if you want more content. And as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Because the best teachers are the ones who never really stop learning. And aja aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.